Welcome back to the Investing Demystified video series. In this video, we'll be discussing how you can actually go about implementing the simple investment portfolio we discussed in earlier videos. As a reminder, this portfolio consists of a combination of low risk investment in government bonds or similar with an investment in a global equity index tracker. The world equity index trackers I suggest for your portfolio are extremely broad, they're extremely transparent and liquid. As a result, they should also be extremely cheap. The exact methods of buying this index exposure depends on your specific tax situation and location. But since the underlying assets are so broadly traded, good choices are generally available. Generally, and as a catch-all, I call any product that cheaply recreates an index type exposure and index tracker. This could be an ETF or an index fund. But also keep in mind that just because something is called an index does not make it a good choice. An index of companies with blue logos would be an index, but it doesn't make it make any sense. The index brands we track are typically well-known ones like MSCI, S&P, FT, etc. But focus on the cost and underlying exposure more than the brand of the index. While different world indices include country exposures in slightly different ways, this shows roughly the world equity exposure. Keep in mind that while some world equity products only include 40 to 50 countries, that probably still represents about 99% of the value of world equities and it's therefore a plenty fine representation. The past decade has seen a massive increase in the number of exchange traded funds, ETFs. They trade just like a stock, but they really just track an index and the amount of money invested in them has gone up massively. Similarly, invest index funds have had large asset inflows. Both developments are very positive for investors as it's increased choice and decreased costs. Vanguard has been a major player in the drive for lower fees and even today has among the best product offerings at the lowest prices. It's a slightly thankless task to list the best products for buying the low risk investment or the world equity markets. The market and products evolve so fast and the products may not be available in all jurisdictions. But here's a list of the largest providers of ETFs and or index products in the world today. You can go to the websites with an eye out for low cost and you'll probably be able to find a product for you. My personal view is that if you're able to buy a Vanguard product that covers the world equity markets, perhaps as an ETF, then you're probably in pretty good hands doing just that. Problem solved. Because the development of the index trading products continues to be so strong, future product development may well provide even better opportunities. At a fee of around 0.25% or less a year for world equity products, there might not be a lot of scope to significantly improve on the annual charges, but other features like tax structures or better indices to follow may help improve the execution. In terms of keeping yourself abreast of the offerings of the best index tracking products, you could also look at indexuniverse.com or particularly in the UK, you can look at monivator.com. Both are independent sites preaching the gospel of index tracking, but there are many others. But keep in mind that even if your particular circumstances doesn't allow the perfect solution, as long as you buy something that is as diversified and cheap an index tracker as possible, you're probably doing okay. Not a lot actually happens once you've implemented the portfolio, and that's kind of the point. But there's some minor ongoing tasks. Check if better or cheaper products can replicate the simpler portfolio. Check if your risk characteristics, non-investment situation, or the world around you has changed so much that the portfolio makes no longer matches your risk profile. Think about your tax situation and if there are better ways of optimizing it. You should not trade a lot of securities, ever. You should rebalance your portfolio when you have money coming in and out of your investments anyhow. You should not be spending a ton of time or money trying to beat the markets. You have embraced the fact that you can't do that. The main non-financial benefits comes from the peace of mind this portfolio gives the investor. They'll naturally be investing cost efficiently for the long term and will have more money as a result. They will not be spending a lot of time and money 
contemplating a stock tip from their golfing buddy or a well-paid broker. Now you're probably sick of me talking about costs. I would of course be incredibly proud if you think of me like uh, the Ryanair or Walmart of finance, but honestly, in this case, you get a higher quality portfolio at a much cheaper price. Your portfolio is sort of flying first class on British Airways at the cost of a Ryanair flight. So going back to the example from the first video of someone driving a train on the London Underground. Let's say that this person makes 50,000 pounds a year, puts 10% aside a year in world equities of his working life, ignore tax for a second. Let's further say that the world equities perform in the future like they have in the past. So about 5% above inflation. Suppose now that we consider two alternatives. One is a product like the ones we've discussed earlier, a world equity index tracker from Vanguard or similar. And the other is a standard investment fund that tracks the world equity markets. So net net, you'd own very, very similar securities, but you would be at a roughly one and a half to 2% cost disadvantage owning the investment fund. This, it turns out, matters a huge deal. You will on average be left worse off by just under 300,000 pounds in today's money. This is enough to retire 10 years earlier, buy seven Porsche cars, or whatever takes your fancy with just under half a million US dollars. So please don't ignore this message. Please act on it sooner rather than later. Thank you so much for watching these Investing Demystified videos. The ideas in it have been based on my book, Investing Demystified, which is uh, available on Amazon, in case you've not had uh, enough of me quite already. Thank you very much.